Fire away. Well, welcome to a new upbuild video. So this is going to be part two on our XJ6 uh, Jaguar barn find. And um, I want to thank you obviously for your comments on the last one, all your suggestions on the uh, the running issues, which we'll have a bit more chat about near the end. But um, they were really good those. But um, in this one, I think the main thing is is really is just getting the car running. Um, and ticking over so we're starting on the last one this will want to get the thing running and have the fuel system set up so it actually runs with the fuel system don't we um which we're going to do so there's yeah, a fuel tank in the boot isn't there we've got a new another tank we set up yeah yes so yeah. we're going to set the we've got a spare tank which we're going to refurbish put in the car um and we've got obviously set the fuel pump up so we'll strip all that down show you how we get on with that um and the other thing is just little bits and pieces the window was open left open on the car so we're going to get the, the windows working again and get them all put back up and as we're using as we're sort of working with the car we're finding little bits and pieces starting to work again in two lights and what have you but um anyway let's crack yeah. on with the job let's, let's get on with the job exactly. get it done. <laughs> Oh, I'll loosen it, not tighten it though, eh? That's loosening it anyway. Yeah. Completely empty. Yeah. I'll use the wheel before I get off the ground now. Bring it in. So we'll start to put the fuel pump here. So we've already got the, the screws out, the little cap, which pulls off there like that. We've got our fuel pump inside the tank here, which the pump goes in. And so we're just saying the fuel line comes from the front of the car and um, here, all the way from the front along to a T junction. And this is this tank. And the pipe that goes the far goes to the far tank. Obviously in the same way into the fuel pump. So we'll get that fuel pump out and have a look at what it looks like inside the tank. Quite right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Clip off straight away, does it? I think it's going, I think. Should just pull out of there now. A little bit of a tap might need a little bit of persuasion. Oh no, it's coming. There we go. 
drink this. Rusty rig, isn't it? It's a bit rusty. It's the only thick in there. The soft hard, hard in there. Uh, There's a hard lump in the end there, was it? Ah, uh, you feel it. Yeah, uh, the hard lumps in it. Uh, Crusty in there. Ah, uh, inside the sock. You like that right into the pump, you know? Yeah, you can see the corrosion on that. Uh, uh, you get the battery and put it. Put the main under uh, there and the earth uh, on that and the, the sharp sea was working on it. Well, I mean, we know because it's, it's no, not, we're it's not with running. Anyway. Sit yeah. on there. Uh, I wonder what it looks like inside the tank. Right, we're going to have to take the tank out altogether now. The reason we're taking it out for it's all rusty inside, like it's it's all yeah. caked up inside. So we're going to change the tank. We've got the spare one. The spare one's in the boot there. We're going to take the top off now, off of here. Take the bumper bar off. Take the bolt out round it. The centre, th it goes into the centre of the tank for the for the gauge. The wires to take off, which is at the back of the tank. Yeah. So we'll get. So them when we drop the tank down, we'll be able to take them wires off it. Yeah. We'll take this off first off the top of here, the, the filler cap. We'll unscrew the filler cap. So we've just got to take the exhaust off to get to the bolts at the back of the tank. There's usually, a, a, um, got what the panel's called, but the panel goes on here, part of the body, which is already off the car. It's in the boot, I think I'm going to show you that. We've got to take the, the exhaust off now, which is covering the back of the tank, and there's two or three bolts at the back of the tank to take out. I'll show you them in a minute though. Right then, so that's it, we've got the exhaust out, so we'll get the three bolts now, I'm going to show you where they are, so there's two underneath, just uh, bring it in. Here, get them for you, we've got one, one here, and we've got another one. three off and then the whole tangle just drop down out of that out of that wing. Another one inside here, which we've just missed. Um, that's perfect, Dad. Yes, yeah, so it's see through there, and we've got that one there. That one there. One screw. It'll come up now, huh? It'll have to be broken anyway.
Tank out of the jug. <laughs> right. right then, there we go. That's the tank out. I'll give you a look inside where the tank fits. It actually looks really nice and solid in here. A little bit of surface rust, obviously, but it means 45 year old car, it's to be expected. So it's nice and solid. So, yeah, just as was that last bolt which we missed, that one there, which actually, by the looks of it, it hooks out of there, doesn't it? But I just Knock the nut off the bottom and then that's that done. So we're gonna clean the, the spare tank up. I'll show you that now in the garage. My dad's gonna my dad's gonna give it a good um clean up. That's the old tank we just brought in. Um the one we've taken out, which as you've seen inside of it. It's also been repaired at some point because you can see it's covered in fiberglass, must be some sort of seal to put on them. Um so I think we'll Get rid of that tank and we've got a spare tank which we showed you earlier with the, the pump in that works so it's a, it's brand new the tank's brand new it's just been left in the boot for a long time and it's got a little bit of surface rust on it as you can see on that side maybe there. but it's like brand new the tank it really is you can tell that on the camera but... yeah anyway my dad's just going to give it a quick go over with the um the little rust removal pad I'm um, just going to be down to get the camera. So, the little rust removal pad, just um, what they do is they just, that's those there. They're absolutely fantastic if you use them just to get rid of the little bit of surface rust or getting the paint off. Doesn't go into the, doesn't damage the metal or take any of the metal off, any thin the metal anyway. I'm just using it on the angle grinder. I'll put a link to those in the description um, so you know where we're getting them from and how much they are. And grab yourself some if you need some, but we'll just set away, clean that. Tank up now, eh, Dad, and give it a good coat of primer and tidy it all up nicely. Crack on with that. Uh, right then, so we've finished restoring my tank. We've got it all nicely painted, as you've seen. And what we've done is we've just tested there the the, um, the seals, on the, seals on the tank. We've cleaned it out first. We've given it a good swill out. Swilled out, you've seen in the bucket there, we've got a little bit of muck and dirt out of the tank. We did it th uh, three times, I think we did it. Three, yeah, we've done three times, yeah. We've just yeah. put a half a litre in the bottle, swilled it around, then put another fresh half a litre in, kept tip, tipping it out each time, just to clean it out. If you saw in the tank, it was fairly kind of to start with just a little bit of surface corrosion. So just to clean that off, we've gone, swilled it out three times. And then um, I just took the the level um, out the back for emptying it out the back, and I put that back in. We're testing that on the car and made sure that the the gauge works and the car works lovely when you on the gauge. We just literally plugged the gauge in and just lifted it. Tank unit. Tank unit. I lifted it up and just see if the gauge works and the car works great. And um, when it was out the car, so we're kind of ready to put it back in. So I'll give you a closer look around the around the tank. What we've done. It's all ready now for to go back into the car now. Nicely tidied up. Yeah. 
just um, get it lifted up and put it, put it back in. And that's uh, job done, I think. So we used a bit of that um, Simmons tough black paint with a bit of um, primer first. Um, obviously, so my dad cleaned it up before we did that. And the yeah, paint. So it's nice and tough. So done the rust, the rust cure first. Like. Rust treated it, yeah, first off. So what I'll do is I'll put, like I say, I'll put all the link to them products that we've used in the description of the video so you can see what they were and how much they were, what we've paid for them, that sort of thing. If you want to pick any of them up, I'll put them in the description of the video at the bottom. Um, anyway, let's crack on and get this fitted. try and see if it'll start. <laughs> That's great getting that done though. Ignition on it. Pumps working. Thank <laughs> you. 
Obviously, set the tank all up now with the fuel pump run. So we'll just we know that it's pumping the fuel through and it's running now, as you've seen. Um, there's quite a few bits missed off the front. The choke's missed off the front, or AED. Um, that's what that stands for now. With the AED, the little third choke or third carb that goes in the centre, it's a choke that's missing, and there's a few pipes being messed around with. So it won't tip over. And we're gonna have to get that and get that set up. Um, and so we're just gonna put some water in it now. We're gonna run it obviously with no more water, with no water, in it, so get some water in it. And then we'll try and get it running and tick over for a while and see we'll get it get into gear because the gear shift is stiff on us or it's stuck in one position in park. So um, we just want to try and see if that'll move. Both wheels are up off the ground, so we'll just get them turning up the height. Well, see if you start without it first, and if we start that stable of ice, she should start like. It'd be nice if it did. Aye. Uh, we'll listen for the pump. Yeah. Aye. Yeah. I'll let it run a bit, just give it a bit of pressure. Yes, uh-huh. Right, pressure up. Ready? Right then, chaps. <laughs> it's tick sitting ticking over, which is an absolute milestone for us because we've, we've messed on for ages trying to get the thing to tick over. So, obviously, we're missing before we're missing this AAD, the, the third carb, which is like the choke. So, we've got it sitting ticking over at 750 revs, which is what it should. I'll just show you inside the table. Got that nice and clear there, 750. 
and so on. It's sound and look. So that is fantastic. We're really, really happy with that. And what we've got is we've got the water filled up and both top holes and the bottom holes are hot so we know it's circulating nicely. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on things because the temperature gauge doesn't appear to be working in the car. So obviously everything seems fine. Um, yes, <laughs> that's absolutely fantastic. Great, isn't it? Happy with that? Yeah, happy with that. That's happy absolutely that. great. Like oh, oh man. No. Still missing the exhaust on this side. I think still need to pick that up. There we go. So, sit tip over, lovely, lovely and clean. I'll pick out the exhaust. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's yeah. fantastic. Don't come with the exhaust. Lovely, lovely and clean, isn't it? Nice and clean, man. Sounds no. great, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, fantastic. So. I suppose the next thing is, is we've got this little problem with the gears where we can't shift it out of um, park. So I'm not sure whether you need your foot on the brake to shift it out of park. But when I do, it's, it's stalling. So anyway, we're going to mess on with that and we'll, we'll kind of take you along for the ride and show you where we get to. But that's fantastic. Very, very happy with that. Okay, so a quick update where we're up to here. Dad's just gone for his lunch. So we'll finish off putting the tank back in the car. So we've got the nice new tank in now. Um, we'll put the, obviously, heat shield back in, the exhaust back on. Um, connected us up with the, new, with the new fuel pump in that tank. That's nicely sorted. So we've just been running the car. Um, we've got a bit of an issue with possibly head gasket. We're not sure. Um, or it could just be the cap on the um, head of tank. So yesterday when we had it running, the fuel, the water was coming out, coolant was coming out, it was pressurising. But I think the cap, I didn't have the cap on tight enough. The cap's old as well, so it could just be maybe needing a new cap, not sure. Um, but today we had it running, it lost hardly any water today when we had it running, up the temperature. The, the gauge maybe came up to about three quarters at one point, and it started coming out a little bit. So maybe head gasket possibly. Um, it takes a while to get it running as well, that's the other thing, so we're missing the um, the third carb or the a AED, um, auxiliary enrichment device, it's like a third carb that sits in, um, and so it took a little bit to get it started, so that's something we're going to have to source, um, but other than that, um, I'll maybe stick a bit more shot in of it running, it's running great, sounds good it's almost there's a very slight sound on the engine as though something's run a little bit dry i'm not sure obviously not great but um the car's been sat for so long so it's going to take a while maybe just to get it out on the road and get things once we get it on the road kind of see where we're at um see how it runs i suppose anything we need to do we need to do head gasket or if more work needs done we'll do it but yeah so that's a bit of an update as to where we're up to so the next thing is we've got a problem with the gear levers um it's not going into gear so the shifter um, is completely just jammed, it won't actually move, it won't move out of neutral. So 
we just noticed that the transmission is right down in fluid. So we're going to top the transmission up in fluid. Um, I'll show you that. There's a hot and cold measurement on it. Um, it's all cold measurement. Um, yeah, so there it is. Just in there also. Transmission, yeah. engine level and then transmission fluid. And so, oops. It has a upside down also. hot measurement maximum and minimum there as you can see um, and then on that side we have the cold and it's literally it's just on the bottom of there you can't actually tell on the camera well. it's just literally oh there you can you see it's a tiny bit of so it's right down so I haven't been driving the car so I imagine that would be the cold temperature because I don't know maybe it would be hot it's transmission coolant it's kind of like a mixed system isn't it with the, the car cooling, so it would warm it up. Anyway, so, I don't know, I know what I mean. <laughs> Even though you maybe don't. So anyway, we'll top that off. So we'll get that topped up and um, when Dad gets back from lunch. And then um, the other thing we'll do is we're gonna give it an oil change, so that's what we're gonna do now as well. So I'm gonna jack it up, get it ready for when my Dad gets back, drop the oil on it, and then give it another oil change. Um, change the filter. Um, it needs fuel, just run out of fuel, so we'll put some more fuel in it. There we go, anyway, little update on what we're, where we're up to and what we're doing. <laughs> Crack on with that. put the transmission fluid in now.
Don't come out the back of it anyway. Aye, aye. Seems well, alright. Team canny, aye. We did go in and see what those like now and make sure they are right. Just see the words take one. Yeah, that's the oil on the stick anyway. I'm going to pick this up, I don't know. It's still like right down, like. We'll, we'll put the rest of that in at the. Fantastic. Right, I think we've had a rough day of the day. I think it's time to open the bar. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Get the bar open. We've had a real rough day of the day. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's that rough. I've got the thing, I've got the thing running, which is good, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's, that's how it's here. So I thought I'd just mention briefly, we talked about the comments um, and some of the things that you mentioned in, in the, about the last, the last episode. Um, one about obviously the carbs, getting the thing running, there was loads of great um, suggestions about the carbs and quite a lot of the things actually that you did suggest would would actually already done. So like to so filling the carbs up, you were saying obviously that was the first thing we did, filling up the um, the oil in the um, in the pistons, filling up those with the, the oil. You did that, you did that straight away more or less, didn't you? Getting the, the oil filled up in them. Um, oh yes, and the, the carburetors, yeah. Which you did. And yeah. there was um, the firing order, that's quite an interesting one as well. People were saying about the firing order would we didn't not renew this we're just obviously handy we've got a, a Haynes manual in the uh, the repair um, operations manual as well the firing order runs from the back of the engine forward instead of the front of the engine back which yeah that's something I always thought they always run from the front of the back yeah because <laughs> I haven't had a lot to do with the XK engines the XK indeed. engine like you know yeah. uh, it's, they're coming from the back forward. the firing order forward yeah so and what the reason one of the reasons why it didn't start or why it wouldn't run was because the firing order was actually set up from the front back it was set up completely wrong and um, we didn't actually show you that in that episode i think that we went, in the next episode we'll probably show you this it's really interesting because the haynes manual was left open in the workshop where the car was sat in for the past 24 years and the pages were like yellow but i'm going to show you that in the next episode so obviously someone had problems with setting up the firing order yeah aye, that's very tight. but we got that right anyway we got, we got the firing order right which was a really interesting thing people say can i have a slip with this yeah. but, the choke, the other thing's a choke, isn't it? You need to get a choke set up. Uh, the choke, we've got the choke to set up on it yet. It's uh, the way we're using the choke at the moment. We're, we're just sticking our hand over it, yeah. over, the, over the, <laughs> the air intake. So it does start, it's, to be honest... The Actually, we're just sticking it over the, top of the, the front of the carburetors at first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until we've got the air we need, to go, we need to get the air intake. But I suppose mm. the carbs, just, just covering the carbs up at the front and a bit of easy start, and that gets it started. And it starts not too bad, to be honest. It's mm. exactly what people are saying. You, the um, SU carbs they need a choke and it hasn't got a choke on the AED as they have on the um, a AED as they have on these so the plan is obviously to get a hold of an AED what we might do is probably get a hold of the whole um, with the whole manifold the, the carburetors in, in the, one go the airbox and everything obviously there's no mm. airbox on at the minute so um, if we do that then we can kind of spend a bit of time refurbishing them all and we'll rebuild the carbs and um, what we want to do is get a hold of a I think probably what a good idea is we're going to get a hold of a um Oh, one of those little tanks, the ultrasonic cleaning tanks, and then strip yeah, the carbs down. Strip them down, you put them in, it'll take all the dirt out of them yeah, and everything. Clean them up properly. Yeah, so clean them properly, because we'll, they'll clean out. We'll definitely do that. Um, but yeah, obviously, really appreciate all your suggestions, they're really helpful with how to, the things that we need to be looking at and how to go about um, getting the thing running well. So, I suppose what's going up in the next episode, um, we've got the gear shift to sort out. So at the minute it's stuck in neutral. Um, I think I said park the last time. It's actually it's stuck in neutral. The the gear shift it won't shift out of neutral. So I don't know whether that is a problem with the gearbox, which we hope it isn't. Or well, it's just it could be either seized. gearbox or it could be the linkages. We we'll hope it's just a seized. I think it's just mm. one rod, isn't it? Just a seized. We we'll hope it's just that being seized. I think that's what it'd be. To be quite honest, I think that's yeah. what it'd be. So we'll strip that down. We'll get that all stripped down. We'll sort that out in the next one. So hopefully, I'm pretty confident we'll have the thing moving under its own. 
power the next time we'll do. in the next episode. We're all gonna go, that's, what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna go to next time. We're gonna go get that. We're gonna crack on with that gear shift and get them working, and then we can kind of get the thing closer to getting out on the road. Then, yeah, um, give it a try out on the road and let's see how she goes. How it performs. Goes, yeah. yeah. Then we'll find out what else is wrong with it. <laughs> I'm sure there's loads. The biggest thing I suppose at the minute, which we're worried about, as you've probably seen in that last couple of shots there, is that it's it's pressurising, the system's pressurising, and it is overheating, it's getting too hot. And it's weird because I, I think it's probably the thermostat that needs changing because it, it the pipes are getting hot. It uh, seems I would to be say it's a thermostat. I would say it's a thermostat. I mean, when you think of you know, that, that thermostat's been in a lot of years standing doing nothing. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. got to be all seized up. I mean, it could be head gasket as well. Well, That's the only other thing it could be head gasket. I think I'd go for the thermostat first anyway. It's the easiest one to go to first. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think probably like you were saying is if it's the head gasket, it wouldn't. It would still circulate, obviously. Yeah, so still circulate. circulate all, although it is, it is, it is circulating. The thing is, it's circulating, but it doesn't seem to be getting very hot. The bottom of the radiator, um, it it's warm but not red hot, so it seems as though it is a circulating issue. Mm -hmm. Anyway, pressure right from the, the the radiator cap and all. Well, yeah, the system pressure pressurising right. from, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we need to look into that. So that we're gonna change, hopefully change the thermostat in the next episode and get a new thermostat and see if that's what the problem is, and if it stops it from overheating. Um, and then we've got brakes to go through. We'll get. We're going to take the whole rear suspension out, the whole uh, independent rear suspension unit IRS. Take the whole system out the back. Yeah. Strip it down. Give it sort of a bit of an overhaul. Uh, put it back together. We're kind of just going to go through things quite quickly, just so we can get the thing on the road. Get brakes working. Um, without actually completely rebuilding everything at this stage. We want to just get it out on the road. We want to test it on the road. See how the whole thing's going to see how the engines. How it's, so we're trying to kind of work through things without completely rebuilding things at this yeah. stage. Get the mobile so it's safe to go on the road, it's the yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. It's getting it safe on the road, exactly. and then we, then we can take it out on the road and then give it a good run around the block. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Just take it easy for a little while and see how she goes. Yep, yep, definitely. Yeah. Anyway, we we'll really appreciate your, your views. Thanks for, for watching the video. I haven't mentioned this, but we've got a Patreon account. If anyone's interested in seeing some of the behind-the-scenes stuff and some of the other projects, we have got films on there which you would have seen, which have just... Of things we've been sort of uh, tinkering on with in, in the background. Also, we had a new workshop workshop set up or a new uh, garage, which we're, 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 mm. we've got a bit of that on there. There's a bit of bit more on the MX5. There's um, bits and pieces back behind the scenes, sort of little updates that we've, we've done um, on the Jag. But yeah, so head across, have a look at the Patreon page for a couple of quid. You can join us and help us out. We really appreciate you. You support those who are on there now, helping us out. Appreciate that a lot. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's probably going to be it for this one. But really appreciate your your comments. Don't forget, stick any comments in. Tell us what you think about this uh, this last episode. Any more advice? We really appreciate. <laughs> that would be good. It's been fantastic. That was, yeah, 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 yeah. Very, very good. Was, but don't forget to press that thumbs up button. Yes. Yeah. That thumbs up button means a lot to us. It really helps Brilliant. us out a lot. That'd yeah, be really, fantastic. Really helps us. And fantastic. subscribe and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button. See what. Keep up to date on what's coming <laughs> next. Yeah. Anyway, you've been good. That's going to be it for this one. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to enjoy our beers. And we'll yeah. see you on the next one. Take Very care, good. everyone. Bye now.